So make sure you get all that Three, signed up. But here two, we go. We're moving. One, I thought we were going to get a little bit more. Yeah. Meg D, Impala. No, actually a little bit of surprise on the character picks because Meg D has generally been locking in on that Val. Yep. That's what he played at DreamHack Dallas was that Val pick. But no, he's kind of swapping back over to the Surrey. We could see a Surrey maybe coming back into style. I'm sure after the performance that XJ just gave us, after maybe this performance from Meg D, we could see a little bit of the Surrey coming back into style here. The now other we, side. we have seen one Kaya so far today during our block, and that was Lores. Didn't go so well for him. We'll see if Impala is able to kind of turn things around for the Kaya players Ooh. out there. Yeah, Mr. rare Jumps miss. There. Man, the, I don't know if it's nerves. Maybe he's not quite warmed up, but a rare drop from Impala. Side Sig connects. Meg D going to take the lead. It is kind of crazy to see two Asuri games back to back, and it's not the same player. Yeah. Okay, Meg D still getting some damage put out onto Impala. Both of these players coming off of three O's in their previous sets. Impala's was against Blaze, and Meg D's was against Heisen. Ooh, Impala really trying to pick and choose. You're not seeing him put out too many hitboxes against Meg D. One thing that Meg D's really good about is punishing whiffs. Yeah, so I expect these to be, you know, kind of relatively slow. We know that from Meg D, and we re really also know that from Impala as well, especially if his opponent wants to play slow. Impala's really able to meet him there, no problem, and do things just as well, even when things are slowed down. Okay. A little bit of gas pedaling there from Impala, though. That's Sarah into the chase dodge forward and there. Trying to maximize the damage he can get off of a singular hit. He's making sure to do the, like, the, the dash jump fast falls, just kind of changing the movement up a lot, seeing whether like, oh, I'm coming in, I'm going out, I'm coming in, I'm going out. Just changing up the timing, especially when he's not like throwing out moves that often. That's sort of his like, it, it, more, more like a, maybe a hockey deep. I think that's what it's called. I don't know, I don't watch, I don't watch sports. I honestly, I, I, I did not hear whatever you just said. Let's see, what, let's see what a deke in hockey is. A deceptive movement or faith that induces an opponent to move out of position. I was right. Oh, you're so smart. Whoop. Down light side here, though. Meg D going to keep that lead in the stock count over Impala. Juggling weapons. Just delaying the weapon spawn for just a little bit. Weapon spawn goes in favor of Meg D. Impala. Just trying to do some dash canceling. Practice that movement. That was a crazy hit on that weapon toss. Like, the, the dodge came out, but the iframes ran out, and it was still moving through him. So it was, like, on the backside, and it still ended up getting the clip on the hit. Okay, Meg D putting a lot of pressure out here. Has a nice little lead, continuing. Almost has Impala in the orange. The Katars in his hand. We've seen Meg D play Katars for years and years. The Val has been the recent pick, but, man, I'm liking this Asuri. That recovery is going to give Impala the KO there. He's going to be in orange soon, but he's not there just yet. I think that down light off of Impala was actually like really clean tech where he did a dash jump backwards and then dash canceled into a down light into the, the recovery. So really clean movement coming out from Impala, but he's still behind Meg D. Yeah, movement has really been the name of the game from Impala. Like the, 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 the movement execution that he's putting in is just like, in terms of like APM is like light years ahead of probably really anybody else that we've seen today. Falling side air. Gets in with that neutral air onto Meg D. Another neutral air. And that's only amplified by playing Kaya as well. A very quick legend. Stuck over on the wall. You can see when he's on the wall, like the movement slows down so much compared to like him getting a hit and like dash jump fast fall, dash jump fast fall. Not quite enough to KO. But yeah, I mean, like, Meg D has so much control when Impala gets stuck on those walls. But the downlight recovery, not quite enough. Impala, you saw him starting to fade away there. Maybe thought it was over, but nice. it's now over in favor of Meg D. Downlight gravity cancels for optimal force. Now, there are a handful of players. I think I'm thinking I'm remembering, like, some South American players. I can't remember them exactly by name that, like, go for the D-light into the gravity cancel neutral heavy, like, as their main option. Yeah. 
because it is tougher to input. So a lot of times, like most players just go for the D-Light into the recovery, but he made the risk and he was rewarded for it by actually getting the KO there, making Two, sure one, by using the gravity cancel neutral heavy. So a little bit of a rare choice for a North American player to make. I think honestly, part of the reason why he made it was because he just saw Impala's not KO, right? He saw yep. Impala go down light recovery and it didn't KO. And he's like, well, not gonna let that happen to me. Okay, Bo for Impala, Meg D with the guitars again. God, dude, look at his, his dashing is insane. You look at it compared to Meg D, and like Meg D is also dashing, like a dash is a quick move, but I look at Meg D's dash and then I look at Impala dashing and it's, it's night and day. I mean, a lot of it is that dash canceling from Impala, right? He'll, he'll do a dash back and then as he's landing, throws out the dash, which snaps him down forward. And so he's doing that to be really tricky against Meg D. Throws out the end, Sig. I swear he can't move without dashing. <laughs> I wonder what kind of drain that puts on his body. Just constantly having so many more inputs than your opponent does. First stock is going to go the way of Impala. He's in a decent spot here. Later stages of Orange as he gets into this one. Meg D spawning back in that neutral air, not sending off screen yet. That does interrupt the recovery, but he's brand new, fresh on that stock, essentially. So it's not like he's going to get caught off stage and fall into the blast zone. Okay, falling Sare into the neutral light this time from Impala. He's trying to get more hits unanswered from Meg D. Finally, Meg D comes in, hits that Nair, hits that Sare. Can he finish off the stock? No, goes too low for that GC neutral light. Meg D playing really far away from that corner. Doesn't want to get caught with like any gravity canceled move as Impala is coming back to the main stage. Putting a lot of space in between him and Impala, like three character links between the two before he decides to go in. Sideline into nothing. Oh, D-Light into nothing. That's twice now. Impala has had the combo opener and doesn't get a follow up. Meg D comes in down light into the recovery. I'm telling you, man, the nerves are starting to hit Impala. He does have himself a nice lead here, so as long as he still maintains con control, as long as he can still hold everything in, all of the oranges that he's having to juggle right now, he's doing a great job so far. He is down 0-1, but that's only one game lost here in this best of five. That neutral air, not quite. One more of those will do it. Okay, down air, bounces Meg D. Over to the spear, doesn't drop at that time. Down light side air, Impala with a healthy lead. He should be feeling a little bit more confident. Now the pressure should be really mounting on Meg D. Nice little punish there, nothing huge. Impala's able to get back, landing with that neutral air, but Meg D wasn't anywhere near him. Oh, happened to turn around that neutral light the wrong direction and gets punished for it immediately. But none of the, these punishes are very big because both of these players know that they can't risk too much. Both of them just kind of doing hit and run. Hit and run. Get a tap here and there. Maybe get a little bit extra afterwards, but it's all about getting as much safe damage as you can. Get those neutral wins, which will just add up to victory. This game is starting to get a little bit long in the tooth here. Now we're just three minutes and 30 seconds into the game. Things might be speeding up here. We're seeing Impala, of course, actually commit to signatures now. He's making those moves, putting himself in a landing lag and a hit and into end lag on his moves. And there you go. He's got to be feeling that now. Yeah. That was a confident victory. But also, you talked about kind of the, uh, the burden that happens from using all of that movement. And you saw him, he had to shake out his hands a little bit there. You see, he's doing a lot to get all of that action out. And he needs to keep those fingers limber so that he can keep pressing those inputs. You said it earlier during pre-show, like today is a very long day. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And as the bracket gets Three, on, because there are two, fewer other one, people in the bracket, oh. that means your break in between games just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Here we are into game number three. Over to Apocalypse this time. There's a soft platform. Might help out with some of the landings. Double exclamation point, man. Impala already being forced to those walls. And Meg D, he's trying to stay away. 
Until he chooses to go back in, he's going to put a lot of distance between him and Impala. He has guitars in his hands, which it seems like that's what he wants. I know there's a weapon spawn on the field, and Impala's playing around it. The problem is, like, even if Megdi wants the sword, he risks disarming himself. And with how quick, how rapid Impala's movement is, it feels like he never knows where Impala is going, where he is, where he'll be in just a few moments. Recovery will connect for Meg D, though. Ooh, that side air feed down Impala. Good dodge down. Goes for the big move with the neutral light into the neutral signature. That time he picks up the recovery, gets the KO, and now Meg D is the nice lead. The tug of war going back and forth between these two players. Meg D maintaining that weapon advantage over Impala. Impala again going to the outside. There's the weapon spawn, has the spear in hand. Needs a little bit more damage here onto Meg Deep before we can start thinking for those KOs. Oh, oh. neutral lights the wrong way. You know that he did not want to do it that way. There is no shot he wanted to do that. Again, the side light into the backup doesn't immediately make any commitment. Nice. nice. The two piece, Pogo into the side air. Going back over to the bow. Do the ability to dash cancel and then sometimes just dash jump fast fall into the neutral air instead. Those are two amazing mix ups that he can do where he's throwing out an aerial move, but he's essentially grounded on it. It's not like he's coming in for the landing in any slow telegraph way. It's just different with like, oh, am I doing movement? Am I doing an attack? You truly don't know. And it's helping him open up Meg D. He's getting a couple more neutral wins over Meg D. Meg D just trying to find those extensions. Dude, I, I just, I can't get over how much more he's dashing than like every other player right now. This is reminiscent of like when Dash first started and the way Kosalix was playing with Dash and just constantly Dash dancing more than everybody else in the game. Well, one thing that's happening from Impala's movement specifically like with these Dash cancels is like he's using them not just in clean neutral when Meg D's on the other side of the map or when Meg D's respawning, he's actually using it to great effect. One thing that I really like about Impala's specific dash canceling. Nice egg drop, weapon toss down to the pickup down air. Tossing that weapon really up high, of course, going back over to the bow and ended up bonking Meg D on the head. Grabbing that recovery as well. Now actually moving on to the soft platform where the weapon spawn is, but Meg D actually hits Impala away, is able to grab the sword. He's taking some damage. Impala still has this lead on him and he's adding up damage really well. One or two more hits, Meg D's gonna be in the orange. And he's really gonna have to worry about how far behind he is. Control goes over for the down air. Impala reads it right, ends up getting above him just in time. And it feels like we're at essentially the exact same point in the exact same time as well. Like last time I called out when it was about three minutes and 30 seconds and the game was starting to get a little bit long, but it looked like it was going to be wrapping up soon. Same kind of thing right here and basically the exact same stock spread as well. This time Meg D does actually force Impala onto final stocks as well. But of course the lead is so big. When Impala gets a weapon, he may not even need one. I don't know if he's going to attempt. Okay, he just goes for the D-Light into the neutral air so he can pick up that weapon. Really wants that weapon advantage. Doesn't want to risk anything else. Impala not finding hits on the Meg T right now. Throws up the side sig. Spear, oh, but he steals it. There he goes. It almost seemed like he was going to miss his chance for a second. Ooh. He didn't want to commit to grabbing that weapon and getting hit too much. But he has the spear. He's searching for these recoveries. There's the ground pound, and that's enough to do it. Impala now in the lead. 2-1 in this set. Pressure mounting. I mean, the pressure is still very high on both of these players. Meg D handling it in a much different fashion, though. You can see, like, kind of the frenetic energy that comes out from Impala, just, like, releasing all that stress that builds up inside of those games. Whereas Meg D, kind of stoic. He's chilling every single time. He's like, yeah, that's the game. There's that side air from Meg D. Didn't even need the weapon toss. Then had stage control, his chance. 
And there you go. That Three, yeah. Two, Going over one, to Small one. Brawl Haven, the tiny stage. See if Megdi can grab one of those neutral signatures that maybe he wanted. That neutral light into the neutral signature, the big play that could turn things around. Because Impala has had two major leads the past uh, two victories that he's got. Just a Pogo, Meg D comes down, hits a side air. Yeah, and they're trading back and forth. I just noticed that Impala kind of plays like in real life physically like Rocky does. There's a lot of there's a lot of physical IRL movement that comes out from him compared to Meg D. Oh, I heard Rocky, like the Rocky movies. Oh, no. And I was like, which one? I think I've only seen like two Rocky movies. Two exclamation points. Meg D gets the hit. That is going to reset the exclamation oh. points, but Impala doesn't have the movement. Meg D, this is a huge yeah, spot for him. He is gigantic. so healthy. The tug of war continues between these two players. Meg D with a gigantic lead, has control of the weapon, swapping back over to the Qatars. We are on small Brawl Haven. So there is the potential there for Impala to grab early stocks here, earlier than he might be able to get on other maps, but I don't know if he's going to be able to find it. The Meg D is playing so confidently this game. Impala just may have to take the L. I mean, of course, he's going to play this one out as best he can. He's going to find as many openings as he possibly can, but I worry that in his attempt to play safely, it just means more dashes, it means more inputs, it means more execution that just constantly puts more stress on the body. Just wearing away at every facet of Impala, not only just his physical, but his mental and his keyboard as well. Impala needs to find more neutral wins onto Meg D, that falling there, You're not gonna take it out, even though it's small Brawl Haven, not small enough for Impala. The bow neutral signature, I mean, a, a lot of the, the signatures that used to be such a staple of Impala's gameplay are just completely gone from the way he's having to play against Meg D to have any hope of victory in this game. I mean, really even in this set. Didn't get the KO, didn't even get that downlight recovery. Meg D finding more hits and Impala can't get the touch there. Ensig not gonna connect. Final stock here for Impala. Otherwise, Meg D's taking this to game number five. Impala does clean up that first stock of Meg D, but he is two stocks to one. Has the weapon advantage, but the actual neutral light that he hits because he was over so far on the edge puts Meg D towards the middle of the stage. He's able to grab the weapon spawn, playing the zoning game here, poking with the neutral light. It's going to have higher range than Meg D has with any of his moves on the guitar set. Impala just getting forced to those walls. Weapon control still remaining in Meg D's favor. Still remaining in Meg D's favor, and he's able to juggle while Impala is still on the stage. Ooh, okay, Impala with the punish, just a downlight side air. No double downlights. Does hit the recovery there for the follow-up. So he's you know, he's finding some damage, but the pace of it is just not enough to deal with that gigantic lead that Meg, Meg D got from the very beginning. He's playing so far back from the wall. There is literally zero reason for Meg D to risk anything at this point. Just continue the game plan so far, and you will arrive at victory and push to a game five. That's kind of what he's doing right now. Not even opting to swap to the sword for the... Uh more common KO potential instead. He's like, you know what? I got a game plan. It's working. Not even good grab pound. Just sitting on the side and there as Impala throws out the GCN Zig, but Impala gets back up safely. And you see what happens instantly. Megdi almost got taken off the top of that. He would still have a gigantic lead if that happened, but still, you can see what Megdi is doing. He really doesn't have to risk too much. He's going down over on the edge, picks up the recovery, bounces off the wall. Not quite enough to KO. Impala playing high up on that wall. Megdi moving down just a little bit. The side air, one more side air, even if it bounces off the stage, unless it's all the way from the left sending to the right, it's got to be the KO option. There are very few moves that Megdi can hit that won't KO at this point. Oh, uh, falling there. air is one of them yeah. <laughs> when it's on the main stage. One of the few. There's the there Sarah. Finally, Meg is going to get it. Game five between Impala and Meg D. By the numbers, Impala should have had this and run away with it, but Meg D really making him work for it. You can see 
Impala starting to think about this. He's like, what do I do? How do I play this Kaya in a way that'll help me close this one out? Really strong neutral light that came there to finish up that stock. Dipping down so he didn't get hit by the signature. Didn't give any type of chase dodge or any movement to Impala right before that. That was a stock for Impala. But even, even right here, man, a full stock lead. And keep in mind, time right now, 4 minutes and 21 seconds into the game. I, I truly believe that the way Impala is playing with all of these inputs, it, it seems like it's only going to get worse from, especially against someone like Meg D, who is going to push the length of these games. Doing that is such a smart choice for him because he's going to exhaust Impala. Yeah, you can kind of see it. There was a lot of clips there. If you were watching Impala's cam where, like, he would take that opportunity to shake out his hands. He just needs to let that energy loose a little bit. Because otherwise, that's just building up that lactic acid. Here we go. Game number five. Again, no swaps on either side. We're going Three, to the small two, fortress one, of Lions one. for game number five. Can the world champion stay alive here at DreamHack Valencia? Meg D moves instantly over to the soft platform on the left. Wanted some room to maybe wait for that second weapon spawn because he didn't get the first one there. He grabs the guitars. It was almost covered by that mammoth in the air. He get that initial hit, opening up Impala with that neutral light. There's a side light neutral light. Good dodge away, but not able to come back down. And Meg D starting to find more hits over to the sword. He's showing the flow, using the weapon tosses to extend his strings while he picks up a sword, hits the neutral light off of that as well. He's just sticking around that soft platform, doesn't even want to attempt the landing. He knows that if he comes in, he doesn't have like any 45 degree entrance to deal with Impala's neutralites. Again, back towards that soft platform. He finding good response damage. And this one close, down light Nair, not gonna do it. Throws away the spear, another recovery, that'll clean up the stock. Almost thought that D-Light that ended up hitting and falling up with the Nair, I thought it might have been too close for it to hit, but no, it was right at that time, and that's that's really why you saw him go for the D-Light Nair, as opposed to a possible maybe D-Light Recovery, or, or maybe waiting after that and choosing if there's a dodge that comes out, GC Insig that comes out, one of the rare signatures we've seen from Impala. Saw it just a little bit last game. It's continuing in this game. It's a jump in. Okay, gets in with the NSIG, getting more hits here. Impala starting to get that momentum onto Meg D. Down oh, SIG connects okay. and it'll KO. Okay. Impala currently up 3 1. Seen him fire up after that one. Of course, there was the shaking of the hands, but you could also tell in his face he's feeling confident. A lot in his favor here. The signatures are coming out as Ooh. well. Some of the successful ingredients that he's had in his previous games, we're seeing them pop up here. He's feeling more at home, the Blobfish. Blobfish is finally at its depth, but what other threats lurk in the deep? Meg D, a full stock behind. Can he get this one back to even? Can he take the win here in game number five? Paula, sitting on the main stage, misses two bow shots. Man, it seems like all of these games have just been complete, not just back and forth, but complete 180s from the previous. Because now Impala is the one with a full stock lead up on Meg D. He's playing more confidently. It seems like the pressure's building up, but not too much for Meg D because he definitely is coming back in this. He's adding up some decent damage. He's, he's going to have to add up significantly more if he wants to actually find the KO here. Impala's bow looking great. Looking very solid right now for Impala. He's starting to find or he, this entire game, has been finding more and more connections onto Meg D. There's the recovery, needs a little more. Throwing away the spear, throwing away the bow. Bonk on the head, but the damage had been done, so it didn't interrupt any move that came out from Meg D. By the time the damage was done, and by the time the four stump came out from it, Impala over on the oh! wall, the GC Insing and that KOs! Caught him jumping there. Meg D was getting into that idle loop and Impala immediate gravity cancel. Neutral Sig catches the jump and that means Impala <laughs> is going to be joining the top eight winner side. You could even see Meg D just shook his head and said, wow. And yeah, same, same, same here, bro. <laughs>